Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day nine. Today, I want to talk to you about contacts and neighborhoods, the important relationship that Keller Williams has with Nextdoor and the ability to add contacts to a Nextdoor neighborhood if they exist or if it's a neighborhood that they may be interested in. So first, let's talk about our command contacts in general. So if I come into this command contact, I can click on Aaron Aronson, and I can see that Aaron has been assigned to a next door neighborhood. Now I can tell that Aaron has been assigned to this neighborhood manually because Aaron does not currently have an address associated with his contact record. However, if I were to go into a contact that had not been assigned to a neighborhood and also did not have a home address, I can show you how by adding a home address, command is going to check with Nextdoor to see if that address is associated with the Nextdoor neighborhood, and if so, automatically assign. So let me go in, I'm gonna click on the pencil button to basically make edits to this actual contact record. I'm gonna come down to additional contact information and where it says street address, I'm going to put in the address for this contact. First things first, you'll see that we have a partnership with Google Maps, with Google and such by such their Google Maps product. And so as I'm typing in this actual address, you can see that it starts to give me suggested addresses based upon my current location. And so I can choose one of these. In fact, I should choose one of these to ensure that the next door neighborhood mapping function is correct because it relies on the Google address to make that happen. So I'm gonna choose Fawn Lake Circle here in Katy. I'm gonna come down and save this contact record. Now that I have added this address, you can see that this contact has now been associated with a next door neighborhood. What essentially just happened is by saving this address, Google and Command just worked together to ping Nextdoor and said, hey, Nextdoor, do you recognize this Google approved address? And if so, do you have a Nextdoor neighborhood surrounding said address? If so, what are the boundaries and what is the name of that address? So this is a great function that's gonna go hand in hand when we get to smart plans with our weekly, excuse me, our bi-weekly and monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. In addition, if you want to assign neighborhoods to this contact that maybe they don't live in or have an interest in, you can always come into the add neighborhood button here within the contact record and you can search for a neighborhood. I found typically it's much more effective to actually find it on the map. Um, and so you could say, okay, well, do you have an address in that neighborhood? Um, is that your particular neighborhood? Is it neighborhood surrounding a particular area? So I can either search for a particular address. <clears throat> Let's say uh, they saw a house at this address they were really interested in, but the house is no longer on the market. However, they're still interested in that specific neighborhood. Well, great, I can now assign them to the entire Imperial Woods neighborhood. And that way, when they start getting their emails from the bi-weekly or monthly neighborhood nurture, they're going to get information about Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes, and Imperial Woods. And we can even do a preview to see what that looks like. And now based upon the Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes neighborhood, what's happening there, and then what's also happening in the Imperial Woods neighborhood as well. If we come back to command contacts, I can also see finally, if I wanna work on getting more of my contacts assigned to a neighborhood, we do have a filter built into command contacts that says has neighborhoods and there's a yes or a no. So if I say who has neighborhoods, I can click on apply. It's gonna show us Aaron and a day, right? Because we already saw Aaron had a neighborhood assigned. We just assigned this neighborhood, command did and we did. Command assigned the one based upon the address we put in we assigned an additional neighborhood based upon the neighborhood they were interested in. We can also do a filter of the opposite, who doesn't have neighborhoods assigned, and that's gonna show us Jill here. And so we can go into Jill's contact record and see, okay, well, there's no neighborhood assigned and there's no address. 
So I can choose to either get Gilles' address if he's in a next door neighborhood, or I can assign him to a specific neighborhood as well. The last tool I wanna to show you is actually on Nextdoor's site. So if you're not sure if Nextdoor has neighborhoods where you are, you can go to nextdoor.com backslash find dash neighborhood, and you will then see all of the states that Nextdoor has neighborhoods for. And if you dive into any one of those, you can see all of these cities in that state that are associated with Nextdoor neighborhoods. And I live in Katy, Texas, so I can come into Katy and I would then get a list of all of the known next door neighborhoods inside of the city, not necessarily the city, but the area of Katy. So there's 182 Katy neighborhoods and here they all are listed here. So that's one way to do it. Of course, I showed you how to do the add neighborhood map view. And then you can see by starting to zoom in, all of the neighborhoods in a particular area. So we're just gonna zoom in. The dot right here is actually my physical location. And then I can see all the neighborhoods in and around the Katy area. And I can do this for any area on the actual map. So that's it for today, guys. The importance of an ability to add neighborhoods, next door neighborhoods to your contact records so that in the future we can use the bi-weekly or monthly neighborhood nurture. Some of you are saying, well, this kind of sinks because I don't have next door neighborhoods and I'd like to send alerts to my clients. Don't worry, when we get there, we're gonna talk about saved searches versus the monthly or bi-weekly neighborhood nurture. You've got some options as well. That's it for today, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Looking forward to a fantastic weekend. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.